Hey guys, what's up? It is Shy Mizrahi once again, and I'm here to talk about my magic collection, which I share with just about everybody, but I think that it's finally about time that I show people on YouTube. So that is what this video is going to be about. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my card collection, I'm going to be showing you uh, my magic collection, I'm going to show you what my pattern is, what I like to do in magic, what helps me get through confidence issues and things like that. So I think we should just jump right into it and I'm going to show you what I have right now on me. So let's do it. Alright, hey guys, what's up? So uh, here we are in my little mat here. It's, uh, it's like a... the heck is this? I don't know. But anyways, I wanted to get started with this green box here. Um, this is my container for mainly three things. Um, pretty much just gimmick cards. This is a double face from my uh, my Guardians deck here. Um, and this is a gimmick for a color changing trick. Let me see if I can show you this. There. You see that? Um, yeah, that's that's also another gimmick. So this is the whole gimmicks I'm working on and uh, that are still kind of a work in progress. So there's that. Then I also have this specifically for um, signed cards that are that don't fit in my binder, and I'll show you which binder I'm talking about in a second. But yeah, uh, so I I have a weird kind of strange obsession with collecting the cards that other people sign, because uh, especially for a sealed with a kiss, um, that's mainly what these signed cards are here. Sometimes ambitious card routines if they don't want the card, but I really just. I love, I enjoy um, taking signed cards and just collecting them and seeing my past and you know just seeing what I've done to get here so far. So that's the second thing that this box here is for. Alright guys, so here's pretty much what I'm going to show you. Um, pretty much uh, I have a lot of signatures here, like here I have, these are all from Sealed with a Kiss, the ones that are folded up at least. Uh, it says Steven uh, This is how I used to sign my cards, but now I just do it up in the upper right corner like This right here that is how I sign my cards nowadays um, I usually this is how I usually pick up girls see there's their number and Whatever that Maria there you go That is actually my classmate from my global history class. So there's that but occasionally you'll see these and these. Uh, these were actually my first deck of magic cards, which were from uh, Dollar Tree, and I got eight of these actually. I don't know why this is ripped up though. Looks like. Ah, okay. So, funny thing is, it's in pen, and that means that it is that one trick that I did for a girl named Allison a while back. This is my. English teacher from last year who I completely love. She's my favorite teacher. Her name is uh, Miss O'Loughlin. So you guys might be thinking like why do I have signatures of me and the other people? Well when you're doing sealed with a kiss you actually have to use three cards. See this one is folded too meaning that they didn't want my card so I actually have to take it back. Um, but uh, that's okay sometimes they don't want their card and I take it. And then the third is this whole thing right here. So you're probably thinking like, what the heck is this? So I'll show you. Let me move this all out of the way real quick. This is um, not one deck, not two decks, not three decks, not even four, but like five or six decks of just um, duplicate cards. Um, so I have, I don't even know what this deck is. It's probably, it's one of those older decks that people used to play with when, uh, you know, when my parents, these were my parents' decks, right, but, um, those are the duplicates here, um, I also have duplicates from this really, really, really old red bicycle standard deck, um, this here is a really, really old blue bicycle standard, but also, strange enough, on the other side, it's from two different decks, See, you can see the different ty types of fonts here and there every now and then. Uh, and I don't really know what they're there, like what mixes these up and whatnot, but whatever. Uh, so there's that. 
It looks like I have uh, more red bicycle over here. Um, I don't know if this is part of that, but then also have this, which is uh, parts of some stripper decks that are left over from Sealed with a Kiss. Uh, these are like when my decks from Sealed with a Kiss get so small that people will start noticing that uh, you actually need three different kinds of cards and things. I start using uh, these cards. I resort to these. So yeah, that, this is for duplicates, uh, signed cards, and uh, gimmick cards that I am working on. So that is that, all sealed with this massive rubber band. Alright guys, so this is my briefcase. Um, I'm probably going to have to back this up a little bit and zoom out. Uh, right, right there. That's good. Okay. Alright guys, so this is the briefcase. You might be wondering what this hammer is for. I actually got this briefcase at a yard sale, but whoever left it here didn't actually leave behind the code. So what I have to do is actually pry open the locks to get in. And then if I want to lock it, I actually have to hammer it in. So yeah, that is my briefcase. And this is what it looks like on the inside. There you go. That is my magic collection right here. All of that. And I think we should just jump right into it. So I'll show you my collection. Okay, so let's see what I got here. Um, so this actually was one of my first... Uh, not standard deck of cards. It is... Uh, my friend got it for me. I just started getting into magic. And my friend, his family is from Utah. And he visits there often. And he got me a deck of cards from Capitol Reef. Which is actually my first deck of cards, which is not a bicycle standard. My gosh, I've never done this one handed. What the heck? Okay. There we go. So, yeah, there's this. Uh, it looks really nice. Um, on every card, it shows you a different landmark. Right? Um, the font's pretty different. The jokers look like that. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It says Impact Company or something there. Yeah. Base of spades, yeah, it's pretty, I mean, it just has lots of uh, different landmarks on it, and below it tells you about that landmark. Hey guys, sorry, I don't know what to say right now, because my camera completely just shut out, or something happened to it, I don't know what happened, so I'm going to have to redo my whole video, so I'm going to continue on from after I showed you guys this deck. So, here I have my stripper deck that my father gave me and this is what I do for signed card routines and um, it has some pretty good handling for the first day or two but then after that it gets kinda nasty and gross and these are all stripper decks so it's kinda hard to use but uh, my funny story I was at the dinner table and my dad uh, apparently got me surprise package and he got me 12 of these and I've only used up three in the last 10 months so that's really cool and I feel kind of proud of that because these are really pretty good cards when you're doing signed card routines so that's why I have so many of those now here's just a standard bicycle red deck but it's a little bit more special to me because it's signed by my sister and I use these quite often especially when I'm practicing at home I usually use standard decks of cards like this at home I don't I use these out in public a lot but definitely these are the ones I usually use at home I almost never not use those at home now this also has a pretty interesting story I was in school and my friend found out that I do magic and he gave me some Elvis Presley playing cards um, they're pretty interesting each one is a picture of Elvis Presley um, they're, I mean, I don't, I've never used these out in public, but they are old as well, so they're not very good for handling or anything, but I still use them every now and then. So there's the Elvis Presley deck of cards. All right, so 
This one over here uh, is actually two different decks. Um, and one is on top of the box and the rest is just in the box. So if you remember, as I told you earlier, these are cards that my parents used to play games with, but now they're mine. Uh, so this is actually set up for the trick by Justin Flom, Card Hit Wonder. And that's why there's one in the box and one not in the box, because he makes the deck disappear at some point, so I have to make it reappear somehow. So that's why that is like that. So there's that. For my birthday, uh, I got three decks. Uh, one of them being one of my favorites, the Red Dragon deck. It is very, very fluid in the hands. Uh, and it feels really nice. It feels like it has a performance finish, but really it just has, like it says on the box, uh, an air cushion finish right there. Uh, so this comes with a few gimmicked cards. It comes with a blank card, a double back card, and a double color card, which is really nice. That's what the cards look like, the face cards. They remind me of Hot Tamales. This only has uh, one Joker, which is a dragon. And it just, uh, it's a nice, uh, it's a its a really nice deck. I suggest you should get this one. So yeah, that was the Red Dragon. And thanks to my cats, they completely uh, obliterated my box. So I'm sorry for that. Uh, also for my birthday, I got this, which is the Black Scorpions deck, which I also suggest getting. It is not as fluid as the Red Dragon, surprisingly, but it's still a really great deck, and I suggest you guys get it. It has good handling and it's really pretty. The collar just pops. Uh, there's only one Joker. It has a gap card of a nine of clubs and a six of diamonds. And I do a mind reading trick on my channel. Uh, and I'll send a link in the description below and right here. It comes with a ace of spades and ace of spades of a scorpion. And if I can find it up here, probably. Uh, there's a Joker reveal, which means that you can use the Jokers to reveal the Force card, which in this case is the Ace of Diamonds. So I usually do a uh, shape shift to change. So I, you know, I would force that on them. I say, "Oh yeah, I'm a Scorpion Whisperer," which is really what I love to do. That's my favorite pattern. And I just do a shape shifter and say, "Hey, look, it's only your card." So yeah, that is the Scorpion deck. I would also suggest grabbing this as well. Bam. All right, so lastly for my birthday this last year, I also got um, a Blue Sewer deck, which also, interestingly enough, I never heard of this before until I got it. It has something called a Magic Finish. Where is it? Right here. It has a Magic Finish. I don't know if you can see that. I can barely see it, but um, it's really nice. I'm, I don't know what civilization this is. It might be a sewer, it might be something from India, I don't know. But it's really cool, it's, uh, that's what the back looks like. And as you can see, my, get, uh, my cats got to this box as well. But here's what it looks like. Magic finish, I think it just means that it lasts really long. And I'm saying that because I've had this since my last birthday, which was six months ago. And it feels like it's still fresh out of the box. And it's, it feels really great. Um, it has a shine. I don't know what it is. It's like really glossy, but like the actual paint is shiny except for the black uh, The blue shiny everything's shiny except for black and it also the face cards come with a silver gloss a shine on it And it's really really pretty uh, The ace of spades I already showed you it comes with a double back and that is the only gimmick in this deck But it was definitely worth it and I suggest you get this one as well Um now this I actually got about 30 minutes before I went to go see uh, Star Wars, the new Star Wars movie on Christmas. Um, it was really, really cool. Uh, and so is this deck. I really love this deck. It's Cincinnati, Ohio deck. Uh, it has a buff on the on the box. That's what the, uh, the back looks like. And it's just really cool. It looks really pretty. Um, it has a fat kind of custom uh, design on it. Jokers are pretty standard. It's all pretty standard, except for the font, which I really, really enjoy. Um, and I don't really use this all that often. I don't really know why. It's really, really good. I really, really like it. And it has a great um, handle on it. So I would 
strangely enough, like this was the last one in stock uh, from Target. So that was pretty funny. But I'm glad I got to it in time. Now this here, this is a pretty weird thing. Uh, my sister's friend found out I was doing magic and they got me a deck of B cards. But the th weird thing is, they're all B cards except for the last few. Um, and I don't know what the heck kind of... I don't know what that is, but um, yeah. And this isn't even a complete deck, but I, you know I can deal with that. Uh, you usually use this for practicing at home, so I I can't say I would recommend to give you that because they're old. I don't know what the heck it is, and it's not even complete, so I can't say much about the deck itself. Um, there's black standard here. Here is something interesting. It is a Bible deck, which is really really cool. Um, that's what the backs look like there. It doesn't have a finish or anything. I think it was just meant for a children's game. But I use it for doing magic every now and then. It's really, really cool. Um, pretty much, uh, I mean, there is one of every card. And they have some pretty interesting symbols. There's a temple, uh, Ten Commandments, uh, Crook, or Temple, uh, the Star. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty neat stuff. And even though it doesn't have a finish on it, it feels like it has an air cushion finish which is pretty weird. Now over here, um, kind of sad, I took my Guardian deck to a party and I lost a box. And the cards were kind of getting ruined, so what I did with my deck is I actually made it an invisible deck, which means that it has two sides, and thus and so forth, like that. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, how could you do that? Well, this was, uh, I got this for my birthday along with those three, which I kind of keep forgetting, but, um, I was dumb. This was the first one I got out of the four. And sadly enough, I was eating some pretty oily food when I first opened it up. And I forgot to wash my hands and it was already old. And, I mean, it still feels great and stuff. But, it's, um, I don't know what to say. It's pretty, it was pretty gross. But now, I mean, I have cleaned it up pretty much. And now I can use it as an invisible deck, which is... One of my favorite tricks of all time. I really, really love the invisible deck. So if you actually don't have one, you should probably go make one soon because I really love those. Now, uh, over here, I got some boxes for Christmas, which I'll show you in a second. And uh, this is one of the decks that came in one of the magic boxes. Uh, one, of the, one of the things. Uh, I don't know what company made this or anything. It's not Bicycle. It's not B. I don't know what who made this. Um, I'll check the box later. I'll put it in the credits. I'll put it in the link and uh, the description below. But also, I mean, they're pretty small, which is nice for uh, you know small-handed people. And they're they're pretty standard. I mean, the front's a little different, but that it doesn't bother me at all. And I mean, it doesn't really have a great finish. I think it says air cushion somewhere. Regular regular playing cards. Nope, it doesn't look like there's plastic coated regular. There you go. But I don't think it has a finish made in China. There you go, Chinese cards. <laughs> but pretty much, I mean, they're small and they're glossy, but they're not very good for handling. Dribbling, yeah, uh, but springing, not so much. They're pretty, they're bland, which is, I don't know. I don't really enjoy doing this. I've never brought these out in public. They're kind of hard to put in the case as well, and it's really hard to close. But there's that one. All right, guys. So like I said earlier in the video, I got stuff for Christmas, and this is one of them. This is one of the boxes. It says card tricks, instruction book with 30 easy to follow tricks, and two decks of cards. Um, so the red one I showed you earlier, but I keep the other one in here for when I need to practice some other tricks outside from my briefcase. This is just easy deck to get to so that's why that's just in there and the red one isn't now this is the book um, I know the funny thing was for Christmas when I got this I started looking through I was so happy but I know almost every trick that's in here so I got kind of you know I was I was really happy that I got it but then again I was like oh well that sucks because I already know it so this is actually um, a cool thing this is what I'm giving away for the romance challenge I'm giving away this book along with this deck that is going to be signed and I'm gonna come up with another challenge that hopefully is gonna be a lot better and 
cooler and whatever. You know what I mean. It's gonna hopefully I get more volunteers because that was kind of depressing that my romance challenge did not go as well. So there's that. Um, but yeah, that's what you win if you win the romance challenge. Which so far I still only have one contestant. Then over here is the other one, which is a little slightly cooler. So it comes with deck of cards. Uh, it comes with cups and balls. Comes with some special gimmicks, string, uh, mind reading cards, uh, 80 page book of tricks, and it's called Magic Show 125 Easy to Do Magic Tricks and Tips. And then there is the logo. So it comes with a magic wand, which is, I mean, <laughs> it's really cheesy. It's made of complete plastic, but occasionally I'll do like a floating trick with this um but not usually i i've never brought this out in public uh but yeah I, that's not really my style so i don't use it um here's the deck of cards that i was talking about um f cool thing though um there is this trick i did on christmas day uh we had some f guests over and i did a trick before that because these were all in their concealed cases and what happened was uh they opened up one of them took out a uh, they got to choose a card at random from um, that side. So they got to choose one from here. Uh, not looking at this. So then they looked at it, they memorized it, and said, oh yeah, that's cool. Right? So then I said, okay, well that's interesting because I went over to this box, which was still, like the whole thing was still unwrapping. I untook, I uncovered this, right? I ripped it open, uncovered that, ripped this specific one open, then I showed them all the cards inside. One of these cards had one of these backs. And it was actually the exact same card that they chose. And it turns out that the card that they chose was actually from this deck. So that was a really fun trick. It was one of my favorite tricks of all time. And I've only been able to perform it twice. Because it's not every day they get a new deck of cards. And, you know, it was just a really fun experience to show some guests. Because you, usually you don't really show magic tricks for people inside your own home. So that was a really fun experience for me. Let me just put these back in the box. Sorry if you can't see much right now. Boop boop. Bam, got it. Okay, and then like I said earlier, there are some cards here where you can mind read. Um, I don't really get how this works, um, but Again, it's just part of the box. Um, then over here, under it, we have cups and balls. And over here, we have something pretty cool. It's a blank card, but actually it is some kings, which are actually sliced in half. Which, uh, And one of them is complete. And I'll show you why. Hold on, if I don't drop them into a hole. Let me just set this up off camera so I can show you what I'm talking about. So you would say, hey look, I have some four kings, right? And what you would do is you would kind of close these up. Sorry, this is one hand, it's kind of hard then you would kind of replace that king with the blank card. All right? You would have to flip the whole thing upside down so that when you fan it out this time, hold up. So when you fan it out this time, all the cards look blank, but really the other half is just king. So that's pretty cool. I don't, I don't really use it all that often because I don't really know the, uh, what's it called? Like a good patter and I don't really know what the trick would be used for. There's that. And then the string uh, is under the box, under this book here. And also, um, when I come up with another, uh, what's it called? With another challenge, with another, um, you know, it's just something to keep us busy. Another contest. Uh, this, what's in this content, other than the, these playing cards, uh, most of the content in here will be sent out as a gift. Um, and I'm trying to figure out what the contest will be, but hopefully um, this will work. And if you guys set up for that contest, this will be the prize 
next time. So that is something to be looking forward to. But back to the video. And then actually this week was Regents week and my friend who also does magic, he said he didn't really want this anymore and he gave it to me. It's a black reversed back. Um, it's really nice. Uh, it comes with two two of spades which are normal except for the backs which are the backs of boxes and if you know what this is for please tell me please please tell me because I don't know uh, this also comes with a blank card and a double face which you can use for anniversary walls and many other card tricks yet to come I really really love this deck a lot it feels really nice air cushion finish it's pretty basic uh, but you know it has a different look to it and that was the reverse back and then I don't know how much of the other video it showed but I have this artifice tundra it's really good I really love this deck um, I just got it like two weeks ago along with the fathom the uh, the kings and the black arcane they're really really beautiful and this one has a performance finish. The Ace of Spades is beautiful. And my favorite part about this is that everything is black and white except for the red pips, which really just makes it pop out. And I really love that. This one also has a Joker reveal. You can see he's holding a card there, uh, which later, if you can do a Shapeshifter or a Marlowe change or whatever, uh, it will reveal the Ace of Hearts. And I just really, really like this deck. And it comes with a double back, and I really suggest you get it. Now, one thing I really like about this deck, though, is on the top, it says uh, something really cool right there. I don't know if you can see that. Ars est celar artem, which I believe is Greek, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's Greek for uh, art conceals art. I know the translation. I don't know what language, though. But I really like that translation, and I really want to use it on something, but I don't know what yet. But that is definitely my favorite quote. Um, and then here, the Fathom. It's a really, really nice deck. I su highly, highly suggest getting this one. It's really pretty. Um, it's, a, it's just a really beautiful deck. Uh, it comes with nothing standard. Nothing at all is standard. Uh, not a lot of ink on it. It's all mostly white. It is very fluid, like on the box it says inspired by water. And I think they took that to the next level because this really does feel like something beyond. Uh, that's what the Jokers look like. Right now I have this set up for a uh, two card Monty routine with my double back. The Jokers are cool. Uh, they come with bubbles and some of them come with, if I can find some, some eyes and bubbles. Uh, and my favorite part is the face cards because they just look so unordinary. They're just so unique and pretty. The Ace of Spades, though, does have two mermaids on it and Fathom on the bottom, which looks really cool. I absolutely love this deck. This is one of my favorite decks. Now, throughout this video, you're probably wondering what the heck this is lurking in the corner with all signatures on it. Many may be calling me barbaric and stuff for smudging a King's deck like this by Peter McKinnon and Daniel Madison. But honestly, I'm going to be moving in a year and I mean, I'm really going to miss everyone here. And I started gathering signatures of people who really influenced my life the most while I was here. And that's why this deck is really special to me. Um, the red Kings and Queens are custom. Uh, there's uh, the Queen of Hearts. Uh, King of Diamonds is Daniel Madison, and the King of Hearts is uh, Peter McKinnon. And then here we have Queen of Diamonds, which is really nice. Then they come with custom sword and axe as jokers, I think, maybe. Uh, the red is actually a lot darker than most deck of cards. And everything else is pretty standard. Uh, it also comes with a double back, but that's pretty much it. But I really enjoy this deck. It's really fluid. I really like it. And once again, I suggest this deck of cards as well. Now, the last one is the Arcane deck here, which I already did in the other video. So that's it. And then there's this here, which is the Arcane deck. This has a performance finish like the Artifice Tundra. 
and it is really really high quality I would definitely suggest getting this deck of cards um, so the jokers here uh, let me see if I can find the other one so I can show you what I'm talking about in a second do 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 do, do. okay so this joker here uh, it's it's a woman and it says arcane on the bottom and also it's a joker reveal because here it says three of hearts which is completely different so what you, you would do like again with the artifice tundra and the uh, what was the other one I forgot what it was but like the artifice tundra you would force that card on them and you have to change it uh, like the bison in the scorpion deck too now I really really enjoy the custom uh, design on this it has like a smoke feel to it it's really nice let me show you your face card so you can see what I'm talking about there you go very smoky it's really cool I really well thought out I really love this deck and I think it has like some sort of like hieroglyph or something in some sort of script uh, it's better if you see it on the box probably but it has that on the on the cards as well it's really really nice and again really well thought out and let's see this also comes with a double back if I can find it that is the ace of spades really pretty then here is double back and I think that's all that comes with this so yeah I highly 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 suggest getting this deck of cards it is really really cool the handling is really just twice as good so again I suggest getting the black arcane deck now that I'm done with my cards I'll go into my uh, way of doing things here so I'm gonna scooch the camera over okay so over here Over here, I actually have a lighter, and I don't know if you can see what that says. It says King of Hearts. It's, it's really bad. But thankfully, I can I can rub it off. Just not now. But it says King of Hearts because I do a lighter trick that involves um, reading the spectator's mind and finding out what their card was because I forced the King of Hearts on them. Uh, I think there's a tutorial for that on Free Magic Live. I think that's where I learned the trick. Up here, I have um, some pretty cool stuff. I have my rubber bands, which I use for tricks and things. Um, I have my extra Sharpie. And here, I think you guys really will enjoy this. Yeah, bottle caps. Magician bottle caps come in different colors and stuff like that too come on focus focus now okay there we go okay I gotta focus so it also comes in different colors and stuff but there's that now um, up here in my briefcase I have oh more decks of cards I have this which is from an airport that my uncle came in through. Um, my heritage is from South America and Israel. And yeah, so my uncle lives in Chile, which is South America. And he flew in from a plane, he bought a deck of cards, which is mine. This is an ad card from the uh, Guardians playing deck. And then over here, some more of my stripper decks, which I'm using currently for Sealed with a Kiss. Then uh, up here, I have my markers. Uh, Sharpies are, I almost always carry Sharpies in my back pocket at all times. That way, like, I found it useful for multiple reasons, not just for signing cards and things, but also for, you know, in case I need to write something down, I don't know. It's, I found that whenever I'm using a Sharpie in my pocket, there's always some point in that day that I'm going to use it somewhere which is pretty cool now I'm going to stop here talking about my briefcase and I'm going to get into handling of things about what I do for magic and why I do it so let me pick out that 
that and that over here maybe there okay I'll use these three decks to explain what I do for magic why I do magic what I think it is and just whatever I'll go on and tell you later I'm just saying that before you actually get used to uh, being good with tricks and things like that you want to make sure that you can handle cards um, I was very sloppy I used to drop cards all the time and things like that um, and I was very slow as well uh, when I first started doing magic I could not riffle shuffle to save my life which is why it took me two weeks to actually figure out how to riffle shuffle and the one place I actually uh, practiced the riffle shuffle was on the bus on the way to school so I guess what I'm also trying to say is practice whenever you can because I practice all the time if I can I have a deck of cards in my in my hands uh, like while I'm watching a movie, while I'm, uh, I don't, I don't know, well, lots of examples. I'm on the bus, uh, between periods, walking to another class, uh, at home, on, in the living room, when I'm talking to people. It's insane how much I have cards in my hands every day. Uh, I tell people I practice cards about three hours a day, and it's not that I just sit down and say, okay, it's time to practice. I literally just have them in my hands all the time. So it's just there and that's that's it um, another thing is uh, let me explain something really quick let me put this deck of cards away so I can explain th thoroughly um, so this deck of cards here earlier from my suit my briefcase if I can get all the cards out maybe there we go okay so let me so there's let me show you a quick card trick uh, using this deck of cards. So pretty much, I, I'm just going to explain this as best as I can, and then I'll get to my point. You guys can choose any card you want. All right, go ahead and see, memorize the card. I'm not looking. All right. Now, pretty much, I'm just going to try and thoroughly lose your card into the pack. And before I continue, I know that some of you guys are going to be able to see what I'm doing here, but that's okay. I I'm just trying to make my point real quick. Uh, and pretty much I just need you guys to make sure that all the cards are face down so I'll kind of skip through them like this for you they're all face down all right good because if you, if you disagree I'm sorry but I'm in a video uh, so pretty much here's what I want you to do uh, I'll show you one more time all right all face down and I'll do this one-handed so that you don't see any funky moves I'll do this as cleanly as possible one-handed I want you guys to take out your card but before you do it's invisible all right so, see my card right there? Alright. Go ahead and take yours out. Is it your card? <laughs> Don't show me your card. Jeez, oh my gosh. I want you guys to put it back in, but the catch is I need you guys to put it in upside down. Alright? You got it? Put it in? Alright, sweet. Now, here's the thing. Uh, I'll do this as carefully as possible. Alright? I try, I try and do this trick very cleanly and very fairly. There you go. We have one very upside down card right there. And if I flip it over, it should be your three of clubs, if that was your selection. So, here's the thing. Uh, the way I did this trick was with a double back. All right, uh, it's very, uh, I'm not gonna explain the trick in this video, but pretty much with the double back, I did the trick. Now what I'm trying to say is, it's very, very cool to do tricks with gimmicks. That's completely alright. But, um, I was actually talking with my friend the other day, uh, cause he told me, you should be on America's Got Talent, and you know, he was just joking. And, you know, I was like, yeah, but the downside would be, uh, if I want to use a gimmick, it'd be really hard, because I would probably be using a specialized deck. When you're on a stage, you don't want to be using a specialized deck, all right? You want to be using a standard deck. You don't want to look like there's some sort of cheating card in here, because most of the time there will be. Sometimes uh, when I'm not looking uh, at school, people would just grab my decks of cards and start skimming through, and all of a sudden they come across this right here. They say, what is this? I, I say, oh, well, that's a double back. And they say, what, what, what is that? So then I have to explain it to them or I have to avoid the question somehow. And it's really embarrassing sometimes because 
they just ruined the trick for themselves again and I mean I can hide it pretty well if I uh, skim through like that right but if they're in there by themselves I mean they can definitely find that thing and gimmick cards they're fun trust me I really love my gimmick cards that's why I mean in my green box I already have some cards that I'm working on but my point is if you're gonna be out in the big leagues you want to use a standard and you want to be doing impromptu because well I mean it doesn't have to be impromptu but like if you're going to be using gimmicks make them out of standard because most people are gonna be like oh that's a pretty nifty deck is it an actual deck and that's what I get questions about all the time if I'm using a very uh, thorough very pretty deck like this they're always asking me when I first take it out oh why do you have so many decks or like Oh yeah, is it, are you sure that's a real deck? Because it doesn't look like one, right? Uh, and usually when I'm going around school, I usually carry somewhere between uh, four to six decks of cards on me. And two of them are the stripper decks, which I use for signing card tricks. And people are always like, oh, why do you, why'd you have to pull out a different one? Or things like that. And honestly, sometimes it's hard to explain because sometimes one deck of cards has a setup that the other one doesn't, or this one has a gimmick that the other one doesn't. And sometimes it's just that I wanted a different deck of cards to show off a little bit because I am a big show off. So pretty much, that's pretty much just what I wanted to say for this video. I'm really thankful that you guys could come and see me. Uh, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you guys learned something from this. And I'm hopefully, I'm, I hope that you guys enjoyed my collection and why I have it like that. So I'll see you guys next week. I will be posting every week i don't know what day specifically maybe i'll come across a specific one day and if you guys are actually laughing about my tan line that's okay so i'll see you guys next week thanks